Good morning and welcome to my live chat. This is Kat and I'm here today to give you peace in your life, control in your home, and to help you learn how to finally love yourself. Today is Monday and we have a three layer cake. Our first layer is our routines. Our routines are uh, morning routine, laundry, if you still have paper, paper routines, after dinner routine, before bed routine. So three in the morning, one in the evening, one before bed. And then we have the second layer, which is our zone. We are currently in zone five, the living room, or the living room dining room. It's our weekly home blessing hour. It is six things that we're gonna do. Strip the bed, wash the sheets, that can be sweep or vacuum the units. We are not doing detail anything. This is a blessing. Just makes you feel like you're starting the week off well and the house is good enough, okay? That's Here's what your week's going to look like. You're going to get up and do your morning routine every day and then go to work. When you're at work, on your lunch hour or breaks, there are things you can do during the week, like your car and purse day on Friday. Um, you might be able to run a few errands on Thursday. Maybe you can even balance your checkbook on Wednesday. On Tuesday, you don't have to do anything. On Monday, um, you can think about if you're going to delegate the weekly home blessing hour or you're going to do it yourself piecemeal throughout the week or you're gonna do it on Saturday. And your zones, I recommend that you do those on Saturday. I would hope that you would piece out your weekly home blessing hour. So on Monday, it looks like this. Routine in the morning, the morning routine. When you come home from work, at work, you're gonna think about the weekly home blessing hour and what you need to do. When you come home, you're gonna do a little paper if you have some, just an inch, takes a minute. And then you're going to start supper. And while that's simmering, you're going to, let's say, dust the house. 10 minutes or less with a feather duster, super easy. Um, or you've delegated it and you're going to inspect what you've on that day, maybe get a little more laundry done. All right, that's it for today. Let's talk and see what's happening. Make sure you're on live chat and I will say hello to everyone. Ron and Sherry Cook. Hey, Sherry. Kathleen Hemingway. Good morning, my mentee. Kiona is here. Melissa Moore says good morning. Connie Miller is here. Lovely Libra Deidre is here. Good morning. back. Uh, Jackie Moore, Jackie um, says good morning. Jackie Longnecker, she's been waiting to get her day started and her week going right. Awesome. Dickie says good morning all the way out in, pa in uh, Santa Paula, California. Eva B, finally seeing you online again. Hello, Cat Mr. B. Hi, Eva B. Uh, Mr. B being in the RV on the Henny B channel. Karen D is here from Palatka, just right across the river. Hi, Karen. Sue says, good morning. Elizabeth B., good morning. Finally got a notification. Yay. Carrie Joy says, good morning. Erin Kane says, hi from Northwest Arkansas. I have a job interview this morning. Good luck, Erin. Um, go back a little bit. Karen D. in Palatka, if you want to meet up, let me know. We can meet in St. Augustine and have coffee. Um, Let's everything going, Tracy. You've been on my mind. Sunny Loom is cutting out really bad. That's okay. I think it's better now. Jamise says, good morning, beautiful. Hey, Jamise. Linda says, good morning from Washington. Looking forward to starting with you in September. I'm so excited, Linda, and I sent you notification yesterday, so that should be helpful. Michelle, two notifications, and I will always send out that second one every month, just as an FYI if you're a new mentee. Michelle says, morning to you, Kat and Mr. B. Sorry it's late, 11 p.m. So tired, I'm off to bed. We'll watch tomorrow. Sweet dreams, Michelle. Lori says, getting my routines, weekly house plus. That'll be fun. Woo. Uh, Mama Ruth, morning. I water my plants and dust. Awesome. On Monday. Karen said, yes, please. <clears throat> Karen. Um, how can I get in touch with Karen? Hmm. I'd like to meet with you, Karen. Sunny, much better. Good morning. Dickie said you look so pretty and fresh. Thank you. Coffee sounds great. Message. Okay, Karen. Um, Allison, good morning. Karen, me. I will message you, Karen. Karen, you're on. You're a patron, right? I can find you over there. Are you listed as Karen D? And then I'll message you. Good morning, Allison. Okay, I'm going to have some coffee. 
right now, speaking of. Mm -mm. Okay, boy, I've been getting some great comments, especially on the Magic Bullet and the Messy Room on the Patreon channel. Lots of comments on that. I think I'll read some of those comments on a recording for you on Wednesday. Okay, Karen, I'll look for you and I'll send you a message. Hey, Patricia, I hope you're feeling better. Kathleen says, yay for coffee. <laughs> I wish you were all here and we could go meet for coffee. I'm going to meet, I'm hoping, Karen at Metro Diner in St. Augustine and we'll have a cup of coffee there. Um, there's our Patreon page. So we have a goal of a thousand of you being Patreon being the force of a thousand remember why we're a force of a thousand what that means and that is that you're going to be confident enough to start really sharing the, the, uh, the system with other people who may be sidetracked or have um, a little ADD or um, those kind of things so you can help people to know how to really get their life in order and have some peace in their life some control and learn how to love themselves that force of a thousand can change the world so we have a thousand people on there getting that see this is like fly lady light i know i say this a bunch but this channel is like fly lady light my patreon channel is a little bit of mentoring and a, a little more in depth and then when you have personal mentoring it's absolutely personally designed for you and your home and your situation but at least on patreon you're getting some more in-depth uh, videos that you can study and go back to over and over again so for five dollars a month i encourage you to become a patron um, it is i use an app on my phone i have an iphone that's what i use people use the computer there's different ways but all of the videos that i've ever made you can scroll through now patreon is a fairly new system their platform is not advanced so they don't have a search function so you will have to scroll through to find things you need but I believe the Lord leads us to what we need to know. Okay, let's see who else is here. So we're believing for a thousand by December 31st because that can really impact. Uh, Rachel Dallas, good morning, Captain Mr. B. Karen D says, cool. Patricia says, good luck, Aaron, on your job interview. Yes, Aaron. Uh, Jeannie Bovier is here. Good morning. Yasmin Sierra. Hi, Yasmin. Um, Christy Stinson, good morning. Marty's here. Hi, good morning, Marty. I couldn't reach your phone. Goes right to voicemail. I need to talk to you about something. We've got a cat following us. Elizabeth, love the Patreon page. Thank you, Elizabeth. Kathleen Hemingway, what do you do? Love it that you put your question in content. What do you do? It's going to be a little more difficult because you've got more clutter, but you're going to just pick up your house. That's what you're going to have to do. You're going to have to invest a little more time than a normal clutter check and then reinstate the clutter check. So are you wearing a boot or anything? Allison Stevens, doing my laundry, cleaned my kitchen before going to bed, had my daughter do her laundry. Yes, Allison, yes. I'm so proud of you. Another mentee on here having personal mentorship is really working for them. Um, let's see. Linda Thomas, good morning. Jamise, the Patreon page is wonderful. Thank you, Jamise. Marty said, live chat, thumbs up. Reading glasses on. Sorry, cat, my phone charger wasn't plugged in the wall. Oh, and my reading glasses are... Are they over there? In the black. Let me change glasses so you guys don't have me looking down my nose, up my nose, or whatever. Down my nose. Ah, that's better. Thanks, Marty. I'll call you when I get off this call. Kathleen said, okay, I've got compression sleeve thing. Oh, good. Good, good, good. Just stay off of it as much as you can, Kathleen. I know that's hard with three little babies. Allison said, Patreon is the best investment you will ever make. $5 a month and you get a daily word from Kat. Don't hesitate. Do it today. <laughs> I love you, Allison. You're so awesome. Patricia, I used to put off repair jobs because I was always overwhelmed by the house and the clutter. This week, I sanded, scraped, cleaned, and painted all my outdoor lamps on the house. Darling husband is thrilled. Me too. Good job, Patricia. Awesome. Amen, Patricia Marty says. Good job. So happy. Hey, have you guys started thinking about your fall wardrobe? I know I talked about this before, but I am so excited to have my fall wardrobe ready to go. I am doing, um, it's still a 10-item wardrobe, 
which I do with uh, the Daily Connoisseur, where you have 10 quality items, and then you have extra things like t-shirts, um, uh, shoes, jackets, things like that. But I'm actually using um, trendy yet cl classy yet trendy as the actual example of the clothes, and I picked the classic essentials uh, for fall. And Marty and I are both doing it. Uh, my fly baby Kathy Weber is doing it. I think I shared some of it with my fly baby. These are my mentees, um, Nancy. I think she's doing it a little bit. I showed her some things for a trip. Anyway, it's awfully fun, and uh, I love it. ClassyYetTrendy.com. Um, and if you want to purchase like the 2019 um, idea of what you think you'd like to have, it's like $21.95 for the quarter. Uh, well, you keep it forever. I mean, you can use it over and over again. But she's basically got some core items in there that you're going to always want to have, like black pants, navy jeans, I mean, blue jeans, certain pairs of shoes some core items, and so you're going to build on your core items. You may have a lot of these things in your closet already. Last time, uh, like this is one of my summer items, but this was just a hand-me-down for Marty, and she didn't have this color in there, but I chose the pink because it was um, an accent color for me, and pink is my signature color. Dickie wants to do it. Go, Dickie. It's so fun, and Marty and I are so excited. We went on I went to Thread Up and got a couple of jackets, and um, I went to Old Navy and got a, like, I needed a chambray shirt, and I went to Land's End to get a couple things, but I had some things too. So Marty said, we'll be twins. <laughs> it's so fun. I really, really like it. So if that's something that interests you, um, it might be fun for you. But she also, you can just go to Trendy classyyettrendy.com and just look at some of the examples that she has and it's pretty cool so I'm excited about it and for me it's really fun because I live in an RV and I don't have a lot of room for clothes but when I first moved here I thought I couldn't wear dresses I couldn't wear heels but that's not true you know I think I'm back We've had some pro problems with AT&T. The whole system went out for our whole area last a couple of days ago. So I don't know what's going on. But anyway, let's see what we've got here. Roxy Roxy Wolf says good morning. Patricia says yes. Yay, Patricia. Elizabeth says. Linda said, you're right, Patricia. Patreon is a great investment. I look forward to hearing Kat's encouraging word each day. Gets me started on my routines. You go, Linda. Patricia said, my family survived after I said I had to stay home the entire week to work on my home and stick to my basic weekly plan, free day two. Even with an ER visit for mom, I was able to stick to the plan. And I know, Patricia, you've been suffering with some major headaches, which put you a little bit behind, but I hope that you don't try to make up for lost time. Just step in where you stepped out, okay? But I'm glad you're feeling more in control and that you're saying no sometimes to the outside family. Sherry, Sherry Bolton, hi Kat, it's Monday and I'm work, working away. You go Sherry. Patricia says, I have to go my turn and happy to do it to stay with my aunt at the hospital. I hope that she's well, Patricia. I know that she did have a life-threatening life surgery, so God bless and I'll keep you in my prayers and her as well. Um, Rachel Dallas, yes I know. <laughs> Becca, hi Becca Quillen. Good morning, Kat. You look beautiful in pink. Have a great day. Thank you, Becca. I love the name Becca. Rachel Dallas. It's fixed. Yes, Micah says, morning all. Hi, Micah. I love the pictures you sent me the other day, Micah. That was awesome. All right. We have been on for 16 minutes. We have had a little buffering, a little reconnecting issue. They're cutting trees, so you might hear tree surgeons out here cutting trees. They're just trimming them up so that the RVs can fit under. It's a different life living in RV life, and I love it. Anyway, tell me if you started thinking about your fall wardrobe, or if you're in below the, the hemisphere, if you're thinking about your spring wardrobe. Let me know. I just sent Marty a picture of two of my outfits today uh, that I have for the fall. I'm getting excited. And you know the hard part in Florida is that it's really hot, so we have to have things that are 
versatile enough and um, enough layers so that we can go into the winter. So mine will actually be a fall winter wardrobe and I'll just add a few things in the winter. Jennifer Lynn, good morning Jennifer. Home blessing is underway. House looks great. So much easier to keep it clean and tidy after routines have been established and decluttering done. Absolutely. And Jennifer Lind is one of the ones that you might have seen through my Mentee system and her home looked wonderful but she decided to go back in and to readdress some areas and she has said, and don't you prefer that it's so much easier the second time around because you have less and it's easier to let go. Lori said, I've been thinking about a fall wardrobe. Yes. So what are you thinking about? So exciting. I like clothes and I think I like them. I've always loved clothes, but I was always huge, and I didn't look good in everything the way I thought it should in my head. I'd put it on, and it wouldn't look like the way it looked in my head. And now, I think that's one of the main encouragers to staying on the trimmer side and to continuing to lose my last 10 or 15 pounds is that I love clothes, and so I know I'll look better in them when I am more on the trim side. All right, let's see. Marty said my outfits look awesome that I sent you pictures of. Awesome. Micah said, I'm so unsure of my wardrobe, trying not to buy a lot for pregnancy since I'm growing so fast, mainly buying shirts and just wearing my maxi skirts as long as I can. You know, uh, what I would say to you, Micah, is to go watch The Daily Connoisseur and go back. She's had four babies. And so she's had, I've seen at least two of her she's wearing. How she takes breastfeeding into consideration for half of Jennifer on the now, and I'm thinking of making a pleated skirt for this too. I saw, I know that, um, and I'm going to shut it down. It's been 20 minutes. Oh, I will. I'm waiting. You know, when I listen, I'm back. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, and I'm sorry. I apologize. Okay, so we were talking about um, Lori being a bus driver and wearing casual clothes, and so casual clothes can be beautiful. You know, they can be beautiful, and you can feel beautiful in them. So you might want to know they can be beautiful, and you can feel beautiful in them. So you might want to consider that. All right, girls, I'm going to sign off early since we continue to have some buffering issues today. I don't know if it's from the tree surgeons or it's just AT&T. Oh, what's going on? We have, or YouTube, we've spent quite a lot of money to make sure that this doesn't happen. And we have all kinds of systems in place so it doesn't happen, but it continues to happen. It may just be that there's just a lot of people on this morning. I don't know. Anyway, I hope that you all have a wonderful day and that you always remember that you